Uh, I'm Jack Moore. I'm a human, and I like to make paintings. I've always been interested in art. I started painting when I was 21 in the summer of 2013 just due to ample free time and curiosity and that was about it. I, I've always been interested in art but I didn't know how to participate and then that summer I was gifted some acrylics and some brushes and uh, I've been painting since then. A friend of mine and her mom was the head of the art department at the college I went to. She gave me just a bunch of acrylic paint and brushes, pretty much it. When I started making work, I didn't have the same knowledge about art history as I do now, so a lot of the you know, first artists that I was introduced to were through skateboarding. So I'd say at my developmental phase of making art, skateboarding was very important. Now it's important to me on a personal level and something I like to make time to do, but I don't think it intersects too much with my work these days. Um, also, you just get older and you get into different stuff. So just to put it plainly, I'm not looking to those artists as much anymore for inspiration, but you know, when I was younger, I mean, you just, I can't downplay how important it was. And also just, you know, my introduction to all this was really through skateboarding. Skateboarding has always had a, historically speaking, appreciation for artists within its community. So, yeah, there's a ton of great artists who have skateboarded throughout time at all different levels. It was pretty simple, but not in the sense where I was making good work, but just in the sense where it felt natural and I really enjoyed doing it and it was very meditative, so it brought me a lot of peace. I've just always been very interested in, I don't want to say color theory, that sounds too esoteric, but just how the combination of colors, just being a young kid and looking at sort of the first iteration of streetwear. And, you know, at the time, I guess I was really studying a lot of those logos and color combinations, and, you know, just things like that. I, uh, I got fired from working at Subway. I was a sandwich artist beforehand. And then I had ample free time and was making paintings, but they were, there was no financial gain at that point. It was just something to do to pass the time. I wouldn't say it was as much as I wanted to become a full-time artist rather than I just didn't want to work another job. I mean, that's, if I'm going to be completely honest, that, that's the fuel for all this is just to see how far I can take it you know, without having to work for someone else. It feels really good. I think it helps you deal with, you know, of being alone or being comfortable with yourself. I think it can help a great deal in that. Just getting to know yourself gives you a sense of accomplishment. Make whatever art you want to. I mean, at the end of the day, I make a lot of these paintings for myself. I'm glad other people enjoy them, but, you know, this is my own therapy and my own process. So I like drawing on, you know, those. I love yeah. animals and I love nature. But, you know, they can mean different things to different people. I, I do feel the, the color, the colors in my works and the, the colors that I use, um, it is maybe the one thing that, that, that comes to me without as much thought. Definitely. So I'm just pretty impulsive. But yeah, it, a lot of times they end up being in the same field. It's sort of just my therapy and uh, it's sort of something that I need to do. So I do it often. In the past, I was a bit distracted, but you know, definitely within the last year, I've been, you know, really trying to push it more, make more work. I started making work, and then, you know, curated some smaller, just DIY shows in Vermont where I used to live, and 
you know, people were always hyped on those shows. It was just more of a community-based thing. And then it just seemed like the natural progression to continue to throw some shows when I moved to New York and, you know, figured out a way in which I could do it and worked with some amazing artists along the way, you know, artists who are doing really great things now that I'm very proud of. But yeah, the, you know, all those shows were, I guess, just, you know, just doing something to do it and to see if you can do it and uh, to create something and to create an experience for people. And, uh, you know, shouts to anyone who came to any of those shows. Now I'm a bit more busy working on my own work. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, definitely. 